Gareth, it's the EFL day of action today. We're here at Burnham Grammar School with the Sports and Education Trust Elite and Development Academies. I know you're a huge advocate of youth development and football at all levels. Are you impressed with what you've seen tonight? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, uh, it's obviously the academy status went uh, a few years ago and, and how we miss it, uh, it was, you know, fantastic source of some players. But coming down here has really uh, whet my appetite again to, uh, to look into the, the youth of, of Wickham, the community spirit down here. You know, these, uh, these, these lads, a lot of them come down to it and support the team. There's some good players amongst them as well. The coaches do a great job. You know, they've got um, a, a philosophy very similar to ourselves at the top level at, at, at Wickham, you know, and, and, and it's, it's really, really good to hear that, um, you know, the comments of some of the parents and, and some of the players, I think they, uh, they do a great job here. It's been, uh, been a, a wintry, showery night, but they've all got their enthusiasm and they're still, uh, you know, they're still looking to impress. And, I've yeah, seen one or two uh, seen very, very handy players. How much has youth development come on in English football since you were growing up in the, you know, the early 80s and, and, and playing school football or club football? How far do you think the, the EFL have taken it over the last last year? Yeah, we, we didn't have anything like this. You know, when I was growing up. It was, uh, it was your schoolboys, uh, and that was once a week playing for your, your, your club team, and then, uh, and then an apprenticeship at, uh, at 16 years old. So to have, to have this from, I think sevens upwards is is fantastic you know and, and like I say the coaches they, they really do a great job you know this is uh, this is as good as some, some academies you know which, which is uh, it's hard to take because of our academy went and uh, and one day hopefully it'd be, it'd be fantastic to get something like that back um, because you know this is this is the youth this is the talent that's around Wickham and uh, and they're getting poached from uh, from bigger clubs at a younger age and we, and we do miss out but uh Obviously, financial constraints to uh, restrict things, and uh, I say one day. But um, yeah, it's, it's a total different world from when I was growing up. Youth, youth football, it's uh, it's a million miles away. They're doing sessions on uh, there's a wing play session going on here. There was an overload session possession here going on a minute ago, and, and these these things were never heard of until you were you were an adult in my day. So these kids to get this this coaching and this education at, at such young age is, is fantastic, and uh, you know great, great work from Seth. They've had some very testing questions for you, I've heard, but you've also been giving them some words of advice. What are the main sort of things you've been trying to get across to the youngsters today? Yeah, and, and as we've said, philosophies, they do match. Um, they're asking what, what it takes to make it as a footballer, and it doesn't change your hard work, your commitment, your, you know, and then your detail of your no disappointment and, and, your, and your teamwork, your togetherness, and, and, and it's great to know that these are all being taught down here. And, and, no, like I say, can't, can't speak highly enough of uh, what's going down here. People are giving a lot of time up on uh, sometimes a cold wintry night and, uh, and it, it just means we can get the Wickham Wanderers name about and, and, and if, that's, uh, if that's around, that's a good thing for me as well.